why saying in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth works. We are at Acts 3 in our book of Acts Bible study. We are in Acts chapter 3. This chapter starts with Peter and John healing a man at Gate Beautiful of the temple. This occurs from Acts 3, 1 to 10. Then in Acts 3, 11 to 26, Peter, being the main speaker, explained how and why they could heal this man, utilizing the phrase, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am Leroy Daly of Blogging About the Word. On that website and on this YouTube channel, I teach Christians how to better understand their Bibles. I utilize the Word of God to explain the Word of God. That means I use word upon word, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little, to explain the Word of God and make it clearer. Precepts must be on other precepts or else we will have confusion and misinformation in the church. And as I always say, we have had too much of that. So we need no more of that. So today's main scripture comes from Acts 3 verses 1 to 10. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. That's Acts 3 verse 1. So from this we see that the Jews possess an hour of prayer. However, many Christians have schedules for everything beside a schedule of times when to pray. They schedule time to see their doctor, their lawyer. They schedule time to see their accountant. You name it, and we have a schedule for it. I must encourage you to create a schedule of times to pray throughout your day. So a set time throughout your day, you should devote a few minutes, five to ten or even more minutes of your time that you go and pray. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask arms of them that entered into the temple, Acts 3 verse 2. So what do we know about this man? First, he was born lame. Daily, other people would carry him to the temple, temple gate, leave him there. And whenever time worshippers were entering into the temple, he would ask assistance from them. Who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple, ask an arm. So this was consistent with what he, he did from day to day. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us, Acts, 4, Acts 3 verse 4. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them, Acts 3 5. But what he expected was not what he received. He expected money. But he got a new life. What did Apostle Peter give to this lame man? Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Acts 3 6. Up until this point, we cannot see what Peter gave to this man. He didn't physically give him anything. So why did he say that? I know he didn't give him any money because he said he had none, but he said, such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. So from that phrase, we know that Peter had something that we could see that he gave to this man. So what did Peter's pronouncement amount to? 
As Christians, like our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we could talk to any situation, any sickness, any circumstance that we encounter. And based on our walk, on our level of maturity, whatever we speak to, will obey. Not should obey, but will obey. But that is contingent on us. That's the key. And, Apostle, <clears throat> and that's what Apostle Peter did in this instance. He imparted his faith in Jesus of Nazareth into this man. That's all Apostle Peter had, you know, his faith in Jesus Christ, because he had no money. For this reason, Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. 3 4. It's an impartation, you know. An impartation is frequent in the scripture. It's an impartation of faith. Look on us. So when he said, he fastened his eye on this man and said, look on us. He want to make contact, eye contact with the man so the man can receive. And that wasn't all that he did. Addition to that, Peter took him by the right hand. That too, impartation too, is necessary through contact. So while he looked at him and held his hand, he made his impartation into him. He drew on his faith in his God and imparted it to this man. This man received it and was healed and took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Acts 3, 7. This you could do as Apostle Peter did, but you must believe the words that you speak for this to happen. You see, Peter had utmost faith in his own words and that's why many of us cannot do this because we don't believe the words that we speak and many of us will never do this unless we start to watch our tongue only say what you mean some people use words so lightly that you cannot take them at, at their words at all. They'll tell you, I'll, so, I'll be with you in five minutes. And you see them in a, in a few days time. Whatever they tell you, you is the opposite that they do. People who do this cannot speak like Peter did and see anything happen. Because they themselves have no confidence in their own words. But we must believe the words that we speak for this to happen. For any impartation of our faith into someone else to take place, we must believe in that word. And he leap, leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Acts 3 verse 8. The, the result is always, always the same. Anytime we act in faith, and identify the source of our power as the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord gets the glory. So the result is always the same when we conduct ourselves this way. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, Acts 3, 9, and wonder and amazement are natural byproducts of these acts. People are always amazed. They're always wondering, oh my God, how did he do this? By what power did he do this? Yes, when they respond in this way, they supply us with an opportunity to explain to them about the wonder-working power of Jesus Christ. And they knew that it was he which sat for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. Acts 3 verse 10. And this ends the first section of this um, Bible study. Continue tomorrow. So let me conclude. Today, many Christians feel that they could just say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and things start to happen. But it's not like that. We see this with the seven sons of Sceva who, because Paul called on the name of Jesus, they said, okay. Paul is calling on this on the name of Jesus. Let me call on his name. And they try 
to cast out demons that was in a person using the name of Jesus because they saw Paul doing the same thing. And the demon said, Paul I know and Jesus I know, but who are you? You see, because they didn't represent the Lord, but they think that they, just by using the name of Jesus, adequate for them and it will work its power. But it's not like that. We must be servants and worshippers of Jesus Christ to effectively use his name. But Apostle Peter not only demonstrated this, but exposed us to a new realm of power. He shows that to accomplish a task in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth requires an impartation of faith in him to the recipient. The boldness necessary to accomplish this comes only from faith in Jesus, knowing that he promises to give us whatever we ask in his name. And this generates immense boldness and confidence in us when we know that whatever we ask in Jesus' name, he will grant it to us. Have you had an experience like this where you got an opportunity to use the name of Jesus to show his might and power? If you did, let me know in the comments below and what happened. Finally, I want to encourage you to like this video because liking the video aid me with the YouTube algorithm. If you are new to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe. And if you want to receive notification when I upload a new video, hit the bell icon to enable notification. And I thank you for your time. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. The blessings of the Lord are on you. And I'll see you again in another video if the Lord allows. Thank you for your time.